Hello everyone, Team Tickers here, and today I'm going to answer some of the most common questions that was asked in my how to install the LG DVD writer. So, don't go anywhere. In case you're wondering, I did have a haircut, but that probably doesn't matter. But what does matter is that I did do a video like this before and I got a lot of questions, which is great. And I want to answer those questions in today's video. And some of the questions that I did get was, can I uh, connect this to the TV? And what do I do if the Slim LG Slim Portable DVD writer doesn't work with my computer? And probably the most common question I had was, can I install the Slim Portable LG DVD writer without the actual disc? And I will answer all those questions in today's video. So let's start off with the first question. So the first common question I had was, can you use this with the TV? Well, the clear answer is no. I do have an LG 3D Smart TV. Jeez, that's a mouthful to say. Um, and no, it doesn't work with it. I tried all the ports. Um, I tried to see if the, I had to put in the software disk first or just put in the normal disk. I tried all of that and it doesn't work. But maybe some tech genius can work it out and actually make it, but I couldn't. So I would say no, it doesn't work. So let's go to the next question. So the next common question I had was, I downloaded the software, but it doesn't work. The only thing I can recommend you guys is to try to download the Microsoft Driver Fix, uh, Microsoft Driver Common Problem Fix, and what it should do is to fix all the problems that Microsoft Drivers have, and you can download the right version for Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, and 10, and and then try to download the LG driver again and then see if that works and if it doesn't work try a different disk but apart from that I have no idea how to fix it so let's go to the next question so another common question I had was can you download the DVD write to software without the CD well I'm gonna show you how so let's go over to the computer so now we're over to the computer, and I know this is the same computer I used last time, but this computer's factory reset, and all that's on there is uTorrent, so the program that we need to download the software, and just a couple of screen recording apps that I was trying out. Now, um, if there's any fan background noise in the video, I'm sorry this fan um, is too loud and I need to change it. but. I have plugged in the DVD writer into the computer as you can see and here's the CD so I will place it there so I'm not going to use it so first what you need to do you need to download uTorrent which is here then you go into your ed edge browser or any browser and click well click the link in the description below because it will bring you up to this one um, then you download the uTorrent for it click save open and click OK and it, you should see it's starting to download here so I'll probably fast forward through this time So now it's coming up to its last 8 seconds, so let's see, it's 99.8% complete, and 100. So it has been downloaded as you can see guys, I'll try to continue. So after you've downloaded the uTorrent, you don't have to do anything, all you have to do is just exit it, go onto Edge browser or any other browser and type in VLC um, download. So I will download it. Redownload, save. And now it's downloading. 
Now, Windows is running some security checks. Okay, it's have, it has been completed. You just have to be a bit more patient. I wasn't. Um, yes. Next. So now VLC has been installed. Okay, next, 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 next. Install. Click finish. Continue. And now it's downloaded. So that's good. So now what we can do is get a disk, any disk. Well, not any disk, you can't play 3D. Um, videos on here and sometimes other discs don't like to work either so you have to kind of see which discs work or not I have a copy of, well not a copy of Lorax but I have a digital copy of Lorax that's what it is so I put in the DVD and in the bottom right hand corner should pop up a little icon saying that I can play see this one, the movie, and I want to choose VLC. And play. And as you can see, it's working just fine. And that was without the CD. I didn't even touch the CD once. And I can promise you that. I like. I absolutely swear that I didn't touch it. So that's really cool. I didn't expect myself to even do that. But I did that. Here's the movie. All working normally. So there you go guys, so that's how you install the DVD writer without using the disc at all. So I didn't even touch this once and I installed the software for it. I will leave all the links, so the VLC media player in the description below, uTorrent and as well as the actual software download for the LG driver so that'll be all for this video and if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to smash that like button and if you're new around here then don't forget to click that subscribe button and i'll catch you all in my next video bye